What's up everybody, this is Coffee Guy. Got a little tutorial for you. Something that I found to be very helpful after I figured it out because I couldn't find it online. Um, what I'm going to show you is, let's see here. I'm going to run this $100 bill along this spline. Uh, but this is two planes with uh, the front and the back being mapped with the uh, separate sides. So my problem was, let me stop this. If I take this bill here and I add a spline wrap to it, and we'll give it this spline here. Change this to keep length, and we'll bank it at 90. Now let's change it to Z also. Okay. Now what happens is, when I animate the offset on the spline wrap, you'll see that the texture is just a big tiled map, and the bill just kind of flows through it almost like a, an alpha mask, but that's not what we want. We want the texture to stay with it, with this one over here. And we want both sides to go along with it as well. So what I did was, let's zoom in on these. And we'll get rid of the spline wrap. So, basically what we have here is two planes, and they're both mapped with one single uh, JPEG, and they're just put really close together so it looks like they're one, and then grouped. So, what I did was, after I add the the uh, spline wrap to it, and then add the spline to that, change all the settings back to the way I had them, okay, now we animate it we get that sliding thing and you can also just shut off that bill so you don't see it down here so what you do is you select the first uh, plane here and go to tags cinema 4d stick texture and then you just copy that to the other one now Click record, select your other one, click record. Now when you animate your spline wrap, you'll see that it sticks to it the way we want it to. And it doesn't matter which direction you bend it in or let's say we put it on X, it still goes with it. Um, there might be other methods of doing this, uh, I'm really not sure, but uh, when it comes to two planes, I mean I probably could have just made one plane and then mapped one JPEG to it with both sides, but this is a more interesting thing that I, th I thought I would try and uh, figure out. Anyway, hope it helped. Enjoy.